Hi there, I'd just like to talk to you a little bit today about one of my favorite uh, tools. This is the uh, cold steel shovel. They call it the Special Forces shovel. Uh, it's a really handy tool for digging. Uh, it'll also chop wood, split wood, um, use it for moving logs or coals around in your campfire. I had one for about six years and when I moved from Utah to Colorado I left it behind so picked up a new one recently first thing I did with mine was I kind of slimmed down the handle a little bit and I did that with uh, plumbers mesh this is uh, fiberglass mesh uh, has aluminum oxide grit on it this is 180 grit you can get this at any uh, hardware store basically it's for use on copper pipes so Using this, you do a shoe shine sort of motion and uh, takes down the excess uh, material pretty quickly. I took a little bit off the swell at the end here and the handle was sticking out a little bit past the uh, attachment here. Um, so I slimmed it down a little bit. I also put in a lanyard hole just drilled a quarter inch hole and then countersunk it, put in a piece of paracord, keep it from flying out of my hands. Uh, other thing I did with this is I made up a little cover or sheath for it here. Made this out of 10-12 ounce uh, saddle skirting stitched it with braided waxed nylon cord I get from Tandy Leather. Retention strap, this has a couple eyelets in it. Some paracord wrapped around it. I uh, waxed this once it was completed to keep the water off. It's got a belt loop on the back little drainage hole there with an eyelet. Fully welted, saddle stitched. Now Cold Steel didn't used to put an edge on these at all. Uh, now they put an edge all the way around it. I don't really care for that. Um, I used to just have an edge on one side of mine, but now the edge comes standard on these. Uh, it's a shovel, you're going to dig with it, so having the edge is kind of a afterthought, I guess. Um, mainly you're going to use this for, for digging, but it does it does chop fairly, fairly decently. The ground out here in Colorado, they don't call them the Rocky Mountains for nothing, but it's a good little digger. My uh, old one I abused for, like I said, about six years, so they definitely hold up really well. I think this is one of the best products that, that Cold Steel makes. You can also chop with these in some capacity. And the fact that it's a shovel, really not too concerned about, you know, hitting rocks and whatnot. It's not really a, really a big deal. Um, you wouldn't want to do that sort of thing with your machete or your uh, woods blade, but <clears throat> shovel, it's not a big deal. Um, another thing I really like these for is get a lot of little trees like this in my yard that I need to get rid of. And they're always surrounded by rocks. And if I want to take them out right at the roots, I don't have to worry about hitting rocks or whatever. So this is the uh, cold steel 
Special Forces shovel. Real handy little tool, mild steel, probably like 1050, something like that, high carbon steel with a uh, kind of baked on flat coating on it. It's a real nice tool you can beat on and get a lot of utility out of.